Her Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Kent, are spending the first day of their holiday in Paris. And these delightfully informal pictures show that they're having perfect weather. Soon they'll be on their way to Yugoslavia to stay with the Duchess's sister in the place where the royal couple spent their honeymoon. So we wish them and all holidaymakers pleasant, restful days. 22,000 athletes are taking part in the European Physical Training Congress. And in the daily demonstrations, they show what perfect muscular development can do. And then they go one better and do it in time. And when we say in time, we mean the perfection of a London Review chorus. But perhaps the final demonstration is the most amazing, an imitation of a field of wheat waving in a summer breeze. This is the time of year when America begins to get worked up about the soapbox derby. They make them themselves and ride on themselves. And if they don't fall to bits, the winners in the individual state championships go on to the national finals. They say it's a sport that requires a clear head, cool nerves and a steady hand. Because when you're flat out at 10 miles an hour, anything may happen. Here's the final. And this is where Daredevil Dick loses control. But no one's hurt and the race goes on. It's nice to think there's at least one sport in which the fun does not consist in risking your life. Now that Al Capone and Dillinger are out of the way, Chicago has got to find some other form of amusement. And here it is, the hand car derby. This is one case where you've just got to keep to the straight and narrow. But apparently keeping to the straight and narrow isn't in their line. The race isn't always to the swift. Sometimes it's to the fellow who stays on the track. <laughs> 